Hello everybody, Dan's my name is Dan, and welcome Dan back to another video today. Yeah, it's going After up on the Friday because quite a few requests I just wanted to make the for this, Sunday I am the doing a deck profile on my Yu-Gi-Oh! GX RP deck. It is called yeah. a Disasters, Disaster Dragons deck. And the and deck is, in fact, a disaster. Got some Hamon support for story basis, but uh, let's just but jump really in has and no show you. In this deck whatsoever. I'm walking through the deck and why it was built this way, I guess. So, first up, we have the good old Alexandrite Dragon, just a powerhouse to bring out. Level 4, so I can use it up. to uh, synchro and Etsy summon if I need to. Uh, I can go into the and very powerful Dark Rebellion Etsy like Dragon, so it's always a bonus. Uh, Hamon, obviously, the Sacred Beast that is so dear to my character's heart. Uh, a very powerful card when I can bring it out. Now, weird, some people have been you know. saying, well, you may need some more support for Haman because the way you bring them out right now is a bit risky because you need he a specific a card to bring him out instead of just the three continuous spells. And um, I agree, but uh, when while I've been dueling with this deck, I've found that um, I don't rely on Hamon as much as I thought I would. I guess it, would be more it was like the same with my Gem Knights. I didn't rely on Slifer. Bricks. It was more so if I could bring him out, it was cool. But I didn't really need to use him I assume that was to, to, his battle to win a duel. Deck. I could win with my own cards. So, that's pretty much the only reason I don't use Hamon as much is because I need Dark Summoning Beast. And I just feel like I could use him more, I could add more support for him, but right now I don't really need to. Moving on, we have White Knight Dragon, a very powerful card, and uh, is uh, one of my favorites, I think, in this deck. It kind of reminds me of Blue Eyes Blue Ice, a little Dragon, bit, but which I would have preferred. <laughs> just off a pun. You can, it's just a brilliant way to change, like, when someone attacks, as long as I have a spell or trap card on the field. I can just discard it and I can change the target. So, say he had a. the opponent had a 2500 monster, I had a 2000 and White Knight Dragon. So, I could destroy the spell card and yeah, retarget it to White Knight Dragon so they'd lose the fight. And it's just it's just an incredible it's card. It's a handy little ability. It's Next, hard we have to get Light off, and Darkness handy. Dragon. You know? So, you can negate the effect of any effect, but you lose 500 attack and defense. So if you want to stall, it's a good card for that. You may think you go off five times, but you do go start off four to times. get weaker. So you need Through some form of defense. good defense, which I would say Dragon Shield is that good defense. <sighs> Prime Material Dragon. I haven't really used this much. I haven't really looked into it much, but I like it. It's a it's a fairly good card. Um, so. <laughs> If I attack Take that trick directly, stars, you're being or owned if I do any damage like to life points, I gain the same amount back. So it's pretty cool, and I can negate um, any effect that would target you're a monster barely gonna and destroy go off that it. It's pretty effect. cool. The first effect Tiger is Dragon, really I, li I like the way this card is brought out. So when you tribute summon it, I like as long as it's a like, dragon type oh. monster, which all my deck is, uh, I can just target two face down spells and destroy them, which is brilliant. So Point if they have two on the field, bring, uh, bring old Tiger Dragon out. And destroy them both. It's pretty cool. Stromwind Dragon. Haven't really used this much. Used it more uh, as than well. But prime material. I like the idea of if the attack is equal, it can't be destroyed. And then um, if it's tribute summoned, uh, it gains attack equal to half the original attack of the tribute monster. So, what would be a smart move is if I had Strong like Dragon in my hand day compared to Richie, and I had Light and Darkness Dragon on the field, but it used up right all its attack and defense points in the gate and spells, I could tribute it to bring out um, Strong Wind Dragon, and then it would gain uh, 1400 uh, attack points. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's a good method of getting rid of attack, so yes, your weak right. card to bring out really powerful one. Genesis Dragon haven't used this I don't think at all. I might have used it. But I don't remember using it. So I don't really it's know what it does. Once you turn you send one dragon monster from your hand to the graveyard to add one dragon monster from your graveyard to the Second hand. Effect, the annoying one. Oh that's yeah, cool. Oh, I have used it yet. Yeah. I may have used it on in the series. 
I like I said, I can't remember, but it's a pretty pretty useful card. White horned dragon. Now, I like this idea. When the card is normal special summon target, put five cards in your graveyard in your opponent's graveyard, and banish them. So if someone uses a spell heavy deck like Pugs, who uses the um the Blue eyes the, the, like magic, dancers or whatever deck he's running, um, the cyber attack. summoning ones. And then when it attacks, he uses a lot of spell ritual cards. So if I summon now this, I get rid of them all. You can't reuse them, which is really good. And I win. Interplanetary purple thorny dragon. Now, if I nailed that, I am surprised. So basically, if a monster's destroyed, I can just summon it from my hand without tribute in, which is pretty cool. I haven't used it, but you have. It could be useful. Start summoning beast. This is the one you want. For Haman. You can bring it out, you have to tribute a monster, and then you can special summon Haman, Raviel, or Uria from anywhere. It's pronounced anywhere. Your deck, your hand, or not your graveyard. Or not your yeah, graveyard. Yeah, so your deck and your hand. Don't worry, Dan, I do that all the fucking time. You can only use the effect of Dark Summoning Beast once per turn. You banish a card from your graveyard, add one Uria Lord of. Ah, uh, yeah. You can also do that. Which is pretty cool. Dog to Dragon. When this card's normal summoned, uh, this card's normal summoned cannot be negated, and when it's normal summoned, they can't activate counter traps, which is pretty cool. Actually, that's really damn good against the solemn Bright Star Brigade. Dragon. Now, this had an appearance in the latest episode, I believe, and then when it's normal summoned, I can target oh, one face monster on the field like and increase in the target keys, by two levels, keys, which helps with synchro time. summoning. Not so much Etsy summoning, but synchro summoning. Synchro sure. summoning is about ten then we have years two assault old. Wyverns. Just ten just brilliant years. Brilliant cards, really. Great, you know, At for some point, you're play just calling when a they new destroy a monster, mechanic. I can tribute it and special summon one dragon type monster from a hand of graveyard. So, yeah. cool combination. If you have Return of the Dragon Lords in your hand and say white knight and they place face down attack res assault wyvern discard it bring out white knight dragon from your graveyard or your hand you could just do that so either way blizzard dragon i like this because it just freezes up an opponent's monster it gave me for... so much shit in my early um, days it was like what do you mean i can't attack, attack? Which is how the hell am i gonna I kill like this that. thing because i Next, never we have the breed most of my dragon. monsters they just my bleed tuna. over anyways they're just like uh, oh, a I brilliant tuna is amazing for synchroin and it has high defense so oh, early on this yeah, is a pretty good card I Same shit. with Keeper of the again, Shrine. We it can be used as two tributes, and whenever a Dragon Monster is destroyed, I can bring it back to the field. It's amazing. And then, as if they only have one monster, I can just put down another level 4 and Etsy summon, or put down a level 4 tuna and Synchro Unlike summon. Unlike Debris, amazing. because Debris Delta can't Fire, be used for the Synchro summon using another tuna, a level and it increases monster. level by one. Again, for good for Synchro reason. Not so I think it's because they realize they need to have um, some Etsy, sort of cost to it. It can be useful, it, but it's but more useful for synchros. That's just specific, you uh, know? Mass Dragon, when it's destroyed, I can just grab a dragon from my deck with 1,500 or less and bring it out to the field. I have three of them. Great for stalling and great for setting up a good defense. It's Blow the Dragon. Just an amazing, I annoying card. So, Fuck I don't you, take Blizzard damage dragon, when I battle I can't something. Kill you so now. even if I was battling, that's safe. I don't know. 4,000 oh, attack point God. monster. As long well, as they don't have a way to negate the is, effect, just go straight in with the attack general, and destroy no, it. It's, it's brilliant. It's the one attacking. Dread it's Dragon, one that me up. again, um, a tuner, and when it's destroyed, I can add a level 3 or lower dragon type monster from my deck to my like, hand. So, it's uh, fairly you know, useful. Then we have Totem Dragon, which can be used as two tributes. There's supposed to be an ad right there, but I already watched it. I'm not going to have any on my view unless there's a copyright claim, so yeah. And if I control the monsters, I can special card, summon the like card in attack position. I didn't know that. It's pretty cool. It, I'm iffy with it. So, moving on, Return of the Dragon Lords, though. as I said earlier, it's a great combo so card. So you have come on, an um, or freaking Dark Summoning Beast in the grave. It's really good. So you're kind of Heavy fucked. Storm, absolutely amazing. Absolutely banned. A, a incredible, incredible card to use. Not as good as Harpy's it's Feather Duster. It's if you have your own spell cards, but if they're they running a spell or trap heavy deck, counter, but nowadays just heavy just storm, the and you, you've limited their capacity, that you've limited what they can do. 
It's brilliant. I would rather just pay life points Trade on in, the ass. Just card one level eight one monster, draw two cards. So another combination with uh, assault weapon. So it's good. All monster reborn, whatever combo you want to go with. Cards of consonants with card one dragon tattoo and I with a thousand or less attack and draw two cards. Um, I don't think I Although actually Antti have and any tuners with a thousand the counter to Monster Born, or less attack. Destroys their spells and traps. I do. I have um, two Debris Dragon. So all your opponents I monsters. guess that's actually quite useful. Dragon Trine. Send grave. one Dragon Type monster, anti -anti monster from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, if that monster in your graveyard is a Dragon Type normal monster, you can send one more Dragon Type. Oh, okay, so I can Monster Reborn or uh, Assault Weapon. Again, good combinations. Pop Greed, simple, draw two cards. Broken. Dragon's Mirror is the fusion the, the card for five-headed dragon. It's very useful well, when it comes out. Five-headed dragon is a powerhouse. Gold sarcophagus, banish one card from your deck. Say, so this is useful if I start with a mon. Add dark summoning beast, but if I start with dark summoning beast, just use it on her mon. It's just an all-rounded card. Monster reborn, you already know what that does. Book of Moon. Ah, oh, this is great to counter effects. I've used it. I believe it was in the latest duel, and it was a great use of it. It was amazing. So if you can, go watch that. I'll use it on. If you your... haven't already, you should no, go I watch it. It's it awesome. On Top and Butter Moon oh, is wait. gonna be <laughs> very helpful. And no, it does not go into physical uh, attack. Dragon Shield is I tried. It just can't be destroyed by battle. All I was counter effects, and we don't take damage involved in it. So if I equip it to say. I don't know White why I thought we were just I can like, destroy cards. Mm, worth a shot. I can't be destroyed, but neither of us take battle damage. Dragon Shield is a so very, even if they attack you know, me, I wouldn't get hurt, it's a fair but card, I can't you know? do any you can't da kill my solid monster, damage. But I can't so it's basically to clear it, so yeah. the field, I find. Uh, empowerment. All Dragon like Warrior and Godcast attack series. monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, you can discard one card. Special Summon 1 Empowered Warrior. Don't have any of them. Nope. Monster from your deck. Once per turn, you can banish a total of four warrior and or spellcaster monsters from your graveyard and add one don't acre monster from your deck to your hand. So I don't have Just have any to make mountain a spellcaster or a warrior. So I basically only get the 300 attack and defense bonus. Whether it's worth it or not, I'm not too sure. But it's a useful card to have in a bind. Storm in Mirror Force is amazing I don't think because it returns them all to the hand. So if they have an life. effect where they can it's use like when I first saw Evil Zard, their like, Wait, special effect in the, the graveyard the after they're destroyed, the <laughs> sending them back to the hand is probably the better option. It's like when you freaking see a and then trap find hole. Out. Wait, there's an alley of just you all know what that does. I thought it was just a caster. Shield, you saw that take effect in the latest duel. So if uh, opponent's monster. Take, uh, the the attack, OCG, I and uh, I can negate the attack and gain life points. So if they have a high no, hitting monster, monster, just gain those life points. Mirror Force, you all know what that does. Sakuretsu Armor, you all know what that does. Dimensional Prison, you all know what that does. I think I'm going to repeat myself for this next card. Scrap Lightning Scarecrow, throw, everyone knows what that does. Yes! It lets Castle Dragon Souls. Um, I can banish I one Dragon type monster from a graveyard, then target one monster it's I an control. You gain 700 attack until the end of this turn. Get the up, that's and such a when the face of the field is sent to the graveyard, you can target on you one banished, of your banished Dragon type you know, monsters. Special summon that target, exactly and you can only control meh. one Castle of Dragon Souls. And Divine Wrath. Comes in when handy a monster a lot effect more is activated, discard one card and negate the activation. And if I do destroy the monster, so if I have an effect heavy monster deck, play that. Get rid of it. Heavy and monster you're done. Deck? I thought that was every so, deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. So, I touched five headed dragon, and I'll run through these synchros quickly because I kind of want you to see them. Yeah, in he use. ran Azure Eyes without a blue Azure Eyes. Azure Eyes, fuck? Silver Dragon. Uh, I haven't used yet. Stardust Dragon. Have I ha also, I haven't used it in the series. I don't believe. Gungnir, uh, Dragon of the Ice, ice Barrier. You have not played this card once. No. I don't think. Uh, I. Oh, that's also a brilliant card, because that's the same as Brionic, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, except I can no just discard cards from my graveyard one, instead of from my hand. Have... But from my hand, I can discard as many as I want. <laughs> so, they're kind of, kind of similar, but their effects differ ever so slightly. Iron Chain it's Dragon. Explode the Dragon Win. Um, it's basically, it's Blow the Dragon. If only I use this to defeat that one but, Cyber Dark um, name, I forget. It's powerful, so, you know. It, it's worth having. Iron Chain Dragon. I don't have any Iron I Chain monsters. I actually loved this card back in the day. Um, back when I thought I 
actually milling from your opponent's deck. So, but when it inflicts battle damage, <laughs> whereas they now it's the graveyard the basically second hand deck. because the graveyard, your opponent doesn't care. At least they know where the monsters it, are. You know, and you saw in action, and it was amazing. Let's be honest. Galaxy Eyes uh, I really Cycle Blade Dragon. I haven't, the the um, I haven't had a chance to bring that out yet. I haven't had a chance to bring out any of these Cypher Dragons, so you will see I them. Hopefully in the series. Hieratic Dragon Kingdom with Tome. Uh, once per turn, I detach one Etsy material from this card, special summon one Dragon Tome monster from your deck, and make its attack and defense zero. And can't attack you in the turn. You activate the effect, which is yeah. a shame but useful. Dark Rebellion Etsy -E Dragon, you've seen that in action, so I don't need to explain it. Just Red show it off. It's amazing. Dragon. That's why I was it Number 10, myself. Illuminate. Uh, I haven't used this nope. yet. Uh, once per turn, you can detach one Red Etsy material from your cards and one shit. card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do, draw one card. Okay. Although still better uh, than drum the, time one, monsters, the rank 1 so monster. This is Queen Dragoon Dijin. Except it's worse because it only has 300 dragon defense. Can't be destroyed at battle. At least Illuminate um, has. Oh, Dragon Tom wants to be destroyed. Defense, so set Dragon Queen. Queen Dragon, sorry. Once per turn, you can detach one Etsy. Uh, and target one level 5 Dragon Tom monster in the graveyard and special summon it. Holy crap, that might be useful. You can if we're ever in a tight corner. Tornado Dragon, very useful. Very useful to bring out, especially if they run a spell heavy deck trap. or spell trap heavy deck. So it's always good. And Galaxy Stealth Dragon. I don't think you've made this uh, once thing once. Once detach one Etsy material from this card, special summon one Dragon type monster from your hand. Your opponent cannot target That's other Galaxy cards you control with card effects. Also, those cards cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. So that's actually so, rather interesting. So, if I bring Galaxy Eyes Cypher and Galaxy Stealth, stops them from being Galaxy Eyes uh, is all safe, and all then it good. Can't be destroyed tucked by away card behind so nice protection of Galaxy thing. Stealth. Then take that Azure Eyes. We're uh, not where until is it? the end where is phase. It? Dragon Shield we have on Dance of Stealth Dragon is protected, so they're all protected completely. But that's it for my deck profile on my Yu Gi Oh GX deck. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. Let well, me know. If I'll you haven't already, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're interested GX to see how we've Sunday. got the Yu Gi Oh old like anime style cards in the in the deck Dan, but, well, in Yu Gi Oh Pro, go to Richie's channel. Any, there is a tutorial over there where really explains how to do well, and how to get the really anime cards in Yu Gi Oh Pro. So go check that out if you're interested. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye. Toodles. <laughs>